The spanking new Astrodome is the new $31 million home of the Houston Astros. It's been around since 1965. A dome stadium that holds nearly 50,000 for a baseball game. People grew up going to ball games there. All kinds of events happen there. Plastic ceiling makes it an all-weather stadium. When it was built, there was nothing like it. There was nothing even close to the 643-foot span. It was never done before. The winner by a technical knockout and still heavyweight champion of the world, Cassius Clay. What I think is really important about the Dome is that it has these kind of individual meanings for different people. It has to do with what went on inside, what event you saw, who you were with. As the Astrodome gets ready to shut its doors after 35 years of hosting Major League Baseball... The I realized this building is very important to Houston, and I started thinking about it as an architect. And the more I looked at it, the biggest innovation in the Dome is in, in the engineering. So I thought, well, let's remove the, the exterior envelope and celebrate the structure. But then you have this kind of problem where, what do you do with that? I worked for a lot of architects all over the world, and, and the ones that I really enjoyed working for are ones who kind of look at every problem differently and, and come up with different solutions. North and South Boulevards are very famous for the live oak trees. It's kind of like an unexposed structure, and then on top of that, it has a kind of infrastructure that lives on it, which is incredible. It has ferns and birds and squirrels' nests, and it's just a really amazing experience just to walk under those trees and experience the, the shade also that you get from it. It's not quite an enclosed space, and it's not quite unclosed. That's what the dome would become, is just on an enormous scale. So that became the A-Dome Park. I have a partner in this, Ben Elshner. Architects want to make the world sort of a better place. This is a concept. I'm not saying this is what's moving forward. The dome is currently surrounded by parking. There's 26,000 parking spaces. And that, what happens is the sun shines down on that black asphalt, and the heat actually radiates off the asphalt. Actually, the temperature rises. There's a term for it called a heat island. So we surround the, the dome with a park, almost 40 acres. So that park space would be shaded, cooled space with water-absorbing grass surface around it. One of the highlight features of it would be a ramp that goes all the way to the top of the dome. So you, you can imagine running up there in the morning, it would be a two, almost a two mile run to the top of the dome. You can imagine walking or running up there in the morning and seeing the sunrise over the gulf. And then the center of the dome, we call this other piece of infrastructure, the great floor. And the great floor would be a place where any kind of event can happen, a rock concert, the, the rodeo, anything you could imagine. To have the, the dome unenclosed, and to have this infrastructure in it would be really a, an incredibly unique feature for the city. It would be like the Eiffel Tower of Houston. We've had tremendous response to our project. People feel like that would be a very attractive thing to do with the Astrodome. You know, it's not a baseball stadium anymore. They play downtown. It's not a football stadium. There's a football stadium right next to it. So what is it? That's the question, right?